The year was 1982, a time when activism was outrightly deemed treason, but one woman dared to speak out. 33 years later, she is back home. Her name is Professor Michele Gidai Mugo. Mwalimu Mugo, a successful academic, playwright and author of about 15 books, shared her experiences of exile that first saw her live and teach in Zimbabwe and later the United States. I was never taken to Nyayo Chambers, no. But if we think of torture as psychological, as a verbal abuse, if we think of torture as when you are answering um, questions and your head is being bashed on the desk, if we think of torture as threats, you know, being taken to hear noises to frighten you that if you're not careful, we will take you where those noises are coming from, that, that's it. But I want to make it clear, I was never taken to any chambers for torture. But she chose to embrace this new challenge and make lemonade from the lemons life had thrown at her when she was just 40 years old. Departures um, can sometimes be temporary, but they can also be permanent. But as one is leaving, not knowing is this a temporary kind of departure or is it a permanent departure, it can be a very, very frightening move to me. She shared the lessons she has learned along the way with her largely youthful audience and Kenyans nationwide. And let me suggest that we all try to create a home in Kenya. And if we are going to create a home for all of us in Kenya and share this space, we are going to have to let ethnicity in the negative sense go. We are going to let and make sure we chase that one away really forcefully, so-called, quote, tribalism, go. And though she has retired from the Sarah Cross University's Department of African American Studies, where she has taught for the past 22 years, it is the insights that she has brought home with her that those who were alongside her in the struggle share, embrace and are keen to pass on to the future generations.